Hi, um, welcome to my YouTube video about DIY vacuum forming. Um, vacuum forming is a relatively simple science. Uh, we heat up a sheet of plastic until it becomes elastic um, and then we drape it over a mould and use vacuum to create a pressure differential across the two sides of the material, thus forcing it to follow the shape of the mould. Um, this is my improvised vacuum forming machine. Um, um, a couple of little moulds that I've been playing with. This was uh, one for a, a casing. Um, as you can see, it's hollow on the inside. Um, I don't know about the quality of the camera, but I've created small um, breather holes that chase right through to the inside to allow the plastic to be drawn into all of the corners of the shape. Um, I have committed some sins with this mould. We should keep some, uh, I think they call it draft, which is like the, the angle of the sides to allow you to remove the, the, uh, the, the formed plastic from the mould. Whereas you can see on this, these are, are vertical sides and I have a lot of problems removing the plastic from this mould uh, once it's formed. Um, this is another plastic casing which I use this mould which again I've created some small breather holes just in, right in the tight corners to allow the, uh, the plastic to take, take the form um, so that, that's one that came off that um, as you can notice everything's a bit powdery and dusty um, I found that a really good release agent Funnily enough, is Johnson's baby powder. Um, it's cheap, plentiful, um, doesn't damage the plastic or the mould, um, and it really helps to remove the uh, finished product from the mould. Um, what more can I say? Uh, some basic tools to help you along your way is a uh, some sort of heat gun. Um, I've had this for years. I inherited it off my granddad, um, and well, it makes heat. What are we talking here? 1600 watts, so 1.6 kilowatt. Um, another, another handy item that I found along the way, uh, which I actually got this as a Christmas present from my dear girlfriend or fiance, is um, an infrared thermometer. You point it at what you want, and then it tells you how warm it is. 31.1 degrees, the palm of my hand. Um, what more can I say? I've been buying these sheets of plastic from, I think it's RS. Uh, I'll check in a minute. Uh, but these sheets are 2 mil thick, they're black, they measure 457 millimetres by 254 millimetres. And uh, we shall open up this fresh pack, because I've actually used all of the last one. Um, I would say that this is a learning curve. You need to learn the temperatures and, and the, the material itself. Um, don't expect to get a really good form on your first go because it does not happen. Um, the sheets of plastic, so they look like this. Um, they have a, a safety plastic, um, like a, a protector on the outside. So once you finish creating the mould, you can peel off the plastic and it stops any scratches. My vacuum former, I've created this um, sheet frame, I'll call it, technical lingo. Um, I use some of these clasps that you use on carry cases um, just to clamp the two halves of the frame together. Yeah? Um, and then I've used some rubber foam door seal that you can buy from B&Q, that sort of place. And uh, I've also marked it up so I know which sides go with which, because when you start trying to make frames, in reality, trying to make things really square just doesn't work. If I spin this round, it doesn't quite fit the same. So, just to keep it all together, that is the same way. As you can tell, I've ended up with a bit of an interesting shape in the corners. Um, in, I regret making the shape, uh, the frame, as wide as it was. Uh, but anyway, so what you do is you drop your sheet of plastic, onto the frame, like so, and then you 
pump it in there. <coughs> okay, so now we've created um, a seal. Because the rubber seal is below the plastic, this bottom frame, if I was to slip this over the machine, um, I've also put a seal here. On, I'll call this the vacuum table. Um, so when you place the frame on top, it self seals to the to the underside. So that's the frame and the sheet. Next we have um, my vacuum table itself, which is all timber construction. Um, this is a vacuum pump out of a Dyson Hoover. Um, it just so happened that someone had a Dyson that was damaged, so I, uh, I pilfered it, uh, ripped it apart, and took the vacuum pump out of it. So I put that into the bottom, basically just to frame uh, a piece of timber with lots of holes drilled in it. It's basically a box with a frame around the outside with more seal tape on it. At the end of the day, the better seal you get, uh, the better the definition of your vacuum form product will be. So, you know, you don't want to lose any pressure anywhere if you can help it. Um, 